Hello my friends, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you so much for being here. Today is Monday, February 26th, and it is Angel Reading Monday. So I do this every single week. These are timeless though, so I've created a playlist for these. If you like this style of reading, feel free to go check out that playlist because if any of them look like your story or look like it would resonate for you, feel free to click on it because it probably will. They are timeless, but I do this every Monday, so let's just go ahead and get started. And you take what resonates for you and leave anything that doesn't for someone else, okay? So let's look at what your angels want you to know is your strength this week or at this time. Wow. <laughs> All right, it flew on the floor. We have power and intention. Your strength this week is you are really standing in your power, setting intentions for what you want to manifest. You're in your power and you're setting intentions from a good place, a powerful place, a place of confidence and self in your self-worth, confidence in yourself. I love this. This is your superpower this week. So well done. Keep doing that. Your angels are applauding you for taking control, for taking your power, and for sending out intentions for manifesting what you want in your life in divine timing, but doing it from a place of power and confidence. Love it. Let's see what your heart has to add to that. What does your heart want you to know? Surrender and holy love. Well, isn't that interesting? Hmm. Let's get another card. Holy love is self-love, being prepared. Interesting. <laughs> well, somebody here has a guardian angel that's showing up that wants to say hello. <laughs> okay. This flew on the floor. So your heart wants you to know that you've got a guardian angel here. Now, this is a guardian angel that's either been with you your whole life or this is a passed on loved one. Um, maybe recent, a recent lo loss. And they're communicating with your heart. They're with you. So you're not alone, okay? If you haven't had a recent loss, I feel like that's an actual guardian angel coming through that has been with you your whole life, that has never left your side, that knows you even better than you know yourself. There's somebody here that is showing up that is really, really loving you right now. So I feel like your heart is wanting you to know that you are really, truly, absolutely loved. You are supported. You are protected. You are divinely guided. Okay? So somebody needs to know that. Okay? So your heart is talking about being connected to the divine source, mother, father, God, source, universe. You are connected to all that is. And I feel like this week, your heart is wanting you to know that you are loved. You are loved by the source of love. And you are love. And your angels love you. And surrendering to that love could be what's called for this week. This is different. It's different than what I usually get for your angel reading and your heart, your heart position. But your heart position is really just, you know, surrendering to divine love, surrendering to knowing that you are not alone, surrendering to the holy love is divine love and knowing that you were created in the likeness and the image of that, of divine love. And you are love, but also it's self-love too. So I feel like your, your heart position, your angels are telling you here to surrender to falling in love with yourself, falling in love with the source, the spirit, the universe, and the love that the universe has for you. And I wonder if you've ever actually felt that to the degree that the universe wants to love you because the universe loves you so much. And I feel like for a lot of us, we grew up in homes that didn't actually show us that divine love, right? 
And we don't fully believe, I, I feel like a lot of us don't fully believe in the love of the universe that, that the universe has for you and your angels. You are not alone. You are literally surrounded by angels, guides, loved ones, and the universe. And you may be feeling the lack of love this week. And I feel like you're, you're just, you're being called to really just surrender to what's possible because there's no limit to what's possible. If you're feeling alone, if you're feeling a little unloved this week, reach out to your angels and just be willing to be willing to believe that your angels and the universe, God, source, spirit, truly, truly loves you and wants to show you. And if you are willing to be open to believe, even in the slightest little bit, I feel like you're going to be blessed in a big, big way of what is actually possible in love. Because you may be feeling like you need a relationship to feel that love. But that love needs to come from within. And you're connected to the source of all love. And if you just reach out and ask, show me. Show me what is the best. Show me how to fall in love with you and me. Show me. The universe wants to show you. Your heart wants to show you. Let's move on to your challenge position. What's in your challenge position this week? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of the same as your heart in your challenge position this week is just really loving yourself and knowing that you are deserving and worthy of the love that you want. And maybe you're in a current relationship. Maybe you're in a Maybe you're in a relationship, maybe you're not. And if you are, you may not be receiving the love that you truly want. And so your angels and your spirit are saying, plug into spirit, plug into your, your angels and plug into you. Start giving you that self-acceptance, that self-love that your heart really, really wants. Because there's a void there. There's a void in your heart that only you and the universe can fill. And you may be feeling the lack of love in a relationship, or if you're single, you may be feeling the lack of love. And so right now, this is your priority this week, is starting, starting to plug into the universe and being open and willing to just be, be open to whatever love the universe wants to show you and trust it. Because you've got blessings and abundance here. The universe wants to bless you. Your angels want you to feel the love that is beyond anything that you could possibly think or imagine. And it all comes from the universe and, and from you. It's got to start there first. So I feel like you are in line for some serious blessing and abundance from the universe. And you are going to absolutely fall in love with yourself and how amazing and powerful you are. But also with the universe. Because the universe is about to shower you with the love that you truly deserve, that you've always wanted. But you have to be willing to believe. You have to be willing to believe. Are you willing to be willing to believe? I challenge you this week. Be willing to be willing to believe. And watch what happens. Save this video. And come back and tell me what happens next week. You're manifesting miracles. All right? You're manifesting miracles, and you may not feel that way. Turn up the love, turn up the trust, and be open to receive. And don't put any limits on it. Don't tell the universe, I need it to look like this, and I need it to be like this, and I need it to be delivered this on this day. Take the limits off, and just be willing to be willing to be open to whatever blessings and abundance and love the universe wants to shower you with because look at shower the universe wants to shower you let's see what that looks like show me the best 
be in this energy of receiving. Show me the best. I'm willing. I'm willing. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Okay, my friends. I can't wait to see what comes in for you. I can't wait to see what you're showered with. I can't wait to hear in the comments below. Or reach out to me on Instagram. Bringer of Light 333 on Instagram. You, you know. So definitely let me know if this resonated for you. I always want to hear who I'm reading for. And by all means, check out the rest of this playlist. And anything that sounds like your story or sounds like it resonates for you, it is for you no matter when it was posted. Okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next reading.